want to start off tonight, uh, we're going to start off with some surprising news out of the White House because yesterday Democrats proposed something to Donald Trump and you're not going to believe this, he actually agreed with them. <laughs> Donald Trump went against his own party and sided with Democrats in a deal to raise the debt ceiling. And because it's Trump, the debt ceiling will not only be raised, it will also be covered in gold leaf <laughs> and feature a tasteless painting of Donald Trump holding a sword, riding a lion. <laughs> uh, Trump was actually agreeing with them. The Democrats, they must have been suspicious of this. Like, they must have been in the Oval Office like, this is easy. <laughs> Maybe a bit too easy. Oh, God, it's a trap. Why is the door locked? Help! <laughs> um, Trump sided with Democrat leaders on combining disaster relief with an increase in the debt relief and the government funding measure all into one bill. It's basically like the turducken of national debt. <laughs> with the emphasis on turd. Um, <laughs> After, meeting his, after his meeting with the Democrats, a photo of Trump with head Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer in the Oval Office went viral. We've got the photo here. Apparently, that photo was taken by the official White House peeping Tom. <laughs> I can just imagine a sleazy private detective tossing this photo on Paul Ryan's desk, like, yep. <laughs> He's cheating on you. And this morning, Trump continued to agree with Democrats when Congresswoman uh, Nancy Pelosi talked Trump into tweeting out that immigrants affected by DACA should not be worried about being deported in the next six months. People are wondering how Pelosi got him to tweet what she wanted. I feel like I know exactly how she did it. <laughs> she did the same thing that I do with my kids. Like, all she had to do was tell Trump not to tweet. <laughs> you do not tweet that. Whatever you do, you do not tweet that. You better not tweet... Oh, you tweeted it! <laughs> the reverse sight, 101. Uh, and finally tonight, former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon gave an odd interview to Charlie Rose where he criticised the Catholic Church, saying they've been terrible on the issue of immigration and that they need illegal, that they need illegal aliens to fill their churches. This is just in case you had any doubt that Steve Bannon is literally the Antichrist. <laughs> uh, now, in the same interview, he referred to himself as Donald Trump's wingman, right? Oh. I don't know. Steve Bannon as Donald Trump's wingman. Can you imagine sitting in a bar, someone sends you a drink, you look over and it's these two. <laughs> right, no! Send it! 